Hello everyone. Uh, welcome back to cloud computing classes. So students, uh, today we will discuss about to cloud computing software or cloud computing virtualization tool or a software. So first of all, uh, what is cloud management software? So cloud management software gives in information technology administrator the tools to monitor and optimize resources, data and application that exist within a cloud environment. So cloud software is also called a cloud middleware software. So, uh, middleware is a general term for any program that serve to between or between two separate and often already existing program. So, you can say that cloud middleware is software used to integrate services, application and content available on the cloud. been see what the different types of virtualization tool or cloud software tool we have so far discussed these four types of different virtualization software or cloud software so in today video we will be seen what are the open source cloud software or architecture which are available in cloud mainly the private cloud uh, value designed for certain infrastructure or for a certain organization. What are different types of our uh, opportunities for different various platform of cloud which are provided by different vendors. So today in this video we will be seeing what is the cloud software. So there are various tools or software which is used for as a middleware in cloud computing software. So first is Eucalyptus software, second is Nimbus software, third is Open Nebula software, fourth is CloudSim software. So today I discuss about to Eucalyptus software. So so the Eucalyptus software we will see its architecture and here and whatever its component and what they actually do and contribute to this software. So this we will do to understand what is Eucalyptus software and cloud computing. So it is basically a Linux based distributed or a software architecture and it's provide two main component uh, EC2 model and S3 model. So EC2 stands for Elastic Cloud Compute Model and it is simple storage system. It is S3 which is a storage part of part of cloud software. So and it's basically provides high performance computing environment so whenever there is a demand for any high processing or for high performance the eucalyptus architecture now this diagram is very simple but you have to be careful while drawing this diagram so basically we have this five main component and that is you have the very flows that is the cluster controller that is then you have cloud controller that implement managing and maintaining the virtual machine network and storage capacity so uh, first of all i tell you what is eucalyptus so eucalyptus is an open source linux based software architecture which provide an ec2 computable cloud computing platform and 
S3 compatible cloud storage platform. It implement scalable, efficient, enhancing and private and hybrid cloud within and organization IT infrastructure. It gives an infrastructure as a service solution user can commodity hardware. So Eucalyptus software was developed to support the high performance computing power and Eucalyptus can be deployed without modification on all major Linux OS distribution including Ubuntu, RHEL, CentOS, OpenSUSE and Debian. So Eucalyptus is an acronym for Elastic Utility Computing Architecture for linking your programs to useful system. And Eucalyptus software allow pooling resources that compute storage and network resources that can be dynamically scaled up and scaled down as application workload changes. The cloud platform pools together existing virtualized infrastructure to create cloud resources for infrastructure as a services, network as a services and storage as a services. So Eucalyptus was founded out a research project in the computer science department at the University of California. So become a for-profit business called Eucalyptus system in 2009. So Eucalyptus system announced a formal agreement with Amazon Web Services in March 2012, allowing administrators to move instances between a Eucalyptus private cloud and the Amazon Elastic Compute cloud model to create a hybrid cloud. So the partnership also allows Eucalyptus to work with Amazon product team to develop unique AWS compatible features. So Eucalyptus software features include first is support both Linux and Windows virtual machine. Second, application program interface compatible with Amazon EC2 platform. Third, compatible with Amazon Web Services and simple storage services. Third, fourth, work with multiple hypervisor including VMware, Zen and KVM. And next, can be installed and deployed from source code or DEB and RPM packages. And next, internal process communication are secured through SOAP and WS security. And next, multiple clusters can be virtualized as a single cloud. And next, administrative features such as user and group management and reports and eucalyptus software is an open source computer software for creating private cloud that are friendly with amazon web services the following are the objective of promote greater understanding and uptake of cloud computing second testing the vehicle prior prior to buying commercial services and next standardize local IT environment and public environment. Fourth, provide a fundamental software development environment for the open source community. So I discuss about to some point of release version of Eucalyptus software or history of Eucalyptus software. So Eucalyptus machine declared an official agreement with Amazon Web Services in March 2012. So the following is the release history of Eucalyptus. So first Eucalyptus 1.6 released in November 2009. Second Eucalyptus 2.0 released in August 2010. And third Eucalyptus software 3.0 released in 8 February 2012 and next 
Eucalyptus 3.3 release in June 2013 and next Eucalyptus software 3.4 released in 24 October 2013. So next point is use of the terminology in Eucalyptus software. So first terminology is use image, second stances and node controller and security and networking. So first is what is images? So an image is a fixed collection of software modules, a system software, application software and configuration information that is started that is started from a known baseline. So when bundled and uploaded to the eucalyptus cloud is known as eucalyptus machine images. So in another word you can say that select a value or a space or area of a cloud then it is called a images. So second is instances. So when an image is put to use it is called an instances. The configuration is executed at runtime and the cloud controller decide where the image will run and storage and networking is attached to meet resources need. So third is node controller. So what is node controller? Node controller is the basic component for nodes. Node controller maintain the life cycle of the instances running on each node node controller interact with the OS hypervisor and the cluster controller simultaneously and next terminology is security so transmission control protocol security group share a common set of firewall rule this is a mechanism to firewall of an instances using IP address and port block or allow functionality. So instances are isolated at TCP IP layer. If this were not present, a user could manipulate the networking of instances and gain access to neighboring instances violating the basic cloud tenant of instances isolation and separation. And next point is networking. So there are three networking modes in eucalyptus software so first is in managed mode second is in static mode and and third is in system mode so first is in managed mode so eucalyptus must manage a local network of instances including security group and IP addresses that is called managed mode and second is in a system mode so eucalyptus software assign a max address and attach the instances network interface to the physical network through the node controller base. System mode does not offer elastic IP address security group or virtual machine isolation. And third is in static mode. So eucalyptus assign internet protocol addresses to instances. Static mode does not offer elastic IP security group or VM isolation. So I discuss about the eucalyptus component. So this is a very important topic and so there are five components in eucalyptus software. So first is cluster controller, second is cloud controller, third is node controller and fourth is storage controller storage controller is also known as a walrus controller so first is cluster controller cluster controller manage the one or more node controller and responsible for deploying and managing instances on them it communicate with node controller and cloud controller simultaneously cluster controller also manage the networking for the running instances under certain types of networking mode available in 
cloud software and second is cloud controller so cloud controller is front end for the entire ecosystem so cloud controller provides an amazon ec2 and s3 model for web services interface to the client tool on on site and interact with the rest of the component of the eucalyptus infrastructure on the other side and next node controller so node controller is written in c and host the virtual machine instances and manage the virtual network endpoints it download and catches images from the wireless as well as creates and catches instances while there is no theoretical limit to the number of node controller per cluster performance limit to exists and next is the storage controller so storage controller is written in java and is the eucalyptus equivalent to the aws ebs it communicates with the cluster controller and node controller and manages eucalyptus block volume and snapshot to the instances within its specific cluster if an instances require writing persistent data to memory outside of the cluster it would need to write to wireless which is available to any instances in any cluster so what is wireless so wireless is also called ws3 ws3 means web storage services and is is the storage services provided by the eucalyptus software the storage services provide simple storage functionality which is exposed by restful and so apis wireless takes care of storing the virtual machine images storing the snapshot and serving files as with all other public facing services in eucalyptus these services are based on the amazon web services api so wireless also written in java program is the eucalyptus equivalent to aws simple storage services wireless offer persistent storage to all the virtual machine in the eucalyptus software and can be used as a simple http put or get storage as a service solution there are no data type restriction for wireless and it can contain images volume snapshot application data and only one wireless can exist per cloud so you 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 go to tools are command line tool for inter- interacting with web services that export a rest or query based api compatible with amazon ec2 and s3 services so you know what is rest so rest is representational state transfer so it is a software architecture style that define a set of constraint to be used for creating web services